This is the submission for Team Dubai Land Registry for the Blockchain Virtual Gov Hack. We are uh, putting title deeds onto a blockchain network and we've developed this specifically uh, using Ethereum and a Web3 Accelerator library so that we could bind the user interface to the code. And we've leveraged IPFS as our document management. And the idea around this concept is to develop four nodes for government and non-government entities. Node one is for the land department. Node two is for Dubai Electricity and Water Authority. And nodes three and four are for public real estate property buying and selling. So if we look at the node now for the land department, this is where the title registries are stored in the blockchain. Uh, they are registered under various different reference numbers and use the Makani API. They also show the history of the owner and the previous owner. And everything is recorded in the blockchain through a viewer where you can see each individual transaction. If we look at the public node for a property buyer, uh, somebody who's registered can log in and initiate a title transfer request for a property that they like. Uh, this goes to the current owner and is recorded in the blockchain. We move over to the node now for the property owner. Uh, he's able to log into his account and from there is able to see the request that has been made for a title transfer and agree to that title transfer, obviously if the conditions are correct. That then will show that the current owner is now being transferred over to the new owner and is subsequently stored in the blockchain transaction log. We now return to the public node for the land department where the current owner and the prospective owner want to transfer title deeds. The land department is able to review these, approve the title transfer, and from that they're able to see for each transaction record who the new current owner is. This is obviously going to be stored uh, along with the uh, previous owner and their documents like their Emirates ID and their title deed document, which are stored in IPFS. We're also able to look for certain properties if they are rented, whether there is a tenancy contract that is associated with that property, as well as an Ijari certificate. To illustrate further integration with other government entities, the land registry will now tell DIWA what is the new account number and the owner will be registered with that contract. Thank you very much.